Hello everyone, Mary wishes you happiness and prosperity. Editor Mary would like to welcome you for visiting Health Fitness 1047 and here is the official news. One, Sean Diddy Combs arrested in New York Sean Diddy Combs was arrested on September 16 in a New York City hotel lobby, as confirmed by the U.S. Attorney's Office. The arrest was based on a sealed indictment, with plans to unseal it soon. While the specific charges against the 54-year-old rapper are not yet known, his attorney stated that Combs had anticipated legal action and had moved to New York in preparation. The attorney urged the public to withhold judgment until all facts are revealed. Asserting that Combs is innocent and eager to clear his name in court. 2. The debate didn't sway some voters CNN talked to, but others know exactly who they're backing now Joan London. A lifelong Republican from conservative Berks County, Pennsylvania, decided to vote for a Democrat for president for the first time after Tuesday's debate. Initially planning to write in a Republican candidate, her perspective shifted when Donald Trump refused to affirm the importance of U.S. support for Ukraine. London who had previously supported Nikki Haley in the primaries and later registered as an independent, felt that Kamala Harris won the debate and is now ready to cast her vote for her, despite having significant policy differences. 3. Majority of debate watchers say Harris outperformed Trump on stage A CNN poll conducted by SSRS revealed that registered voters who watched the recent presidential debate believe Kamala Harris outperformed Donald Trump, with 63% favoring her performance. Before the debate, voters were evenly split on expectations for both candidates. Post-debate, 96% of Harris supporters felt she did better, while 69% of Trump supporters believed he performed well. Additionally, viewers' perceptions of Harris improved after the debate, while opinions of Trump remained largely unchanged. 4. Elon Musk deletes post questioning the Trump assassination attempt Elon Musk deleted a controversial post questioning why former President Donald Trump has faced two assassination attempts recently. While President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris have not. Initially, Musk resisted calls to remove the post, asserting it was meant to highlight that no one is trying to harm Biden or Harris. However, he later deleted it after being advised that his intent could be misinterpreted, stating he didn't want to emulate others' behavior, even in jest. Musk later clarified that the post was a joke. 5. Trump allies do damage control as Harris rides fresh momentum post-debate ex-president Donald Trump is hesitant about participating in a second debate with Kamala Harris after a lackluster performance. In their first encounter, which has led to a scramble by his team and conservative media to manage the fallout, the impact of the debate on the race remains uncertain, as Harris aims to sway undecided voters in swing states away from the Trump era. Both campaigns are analyzing the significance of the debate, which was viewed by over 60 million people just eight weeks before Election Day. Unlike President Biden's re-election campaign, which has effectively ended, Trump's campaign is still grappling with the challenges posed by Harris and has yet to adapt effectively. 6. Harris moved to the center on border wall. Asylum contradicts her years of progressive immigration positions Vice President Kamala Harris likes to portray herself as tough on the border and immigration. Recent TV ads highlight her time as a border state prosecutor, 
who aggressively targeted criminal cartels and drug smugglers. As well as her support for the toughest border security bill in decades. That bill, which failed in the Senate in February and again in May, included $650 million for new border wall construction. Images of the border wall built during the Trump administration are featured in the Harris ads, yet Harris repeatedly criticized the wall over the years, describing it as an affront to both hers and America's values. In her 2019 book, The Truths We Hold, Harris called the wall useless and said it was nothing more than a symbol, a monument standing in opposition to not just everything I value, but to the fundamental values upon which this country was built. 7. Vance blames liberal rhetoric for apparent assassination attempt against Trump J.D. Vance on Monday blamed liberal rhetoric for the apparent assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. Over the weekend, I'd say that's pretty strong evidence that the left needs to tone down the rhetoric and needs to cut this crap out, he continued. Vance vowed to do my part to tone down the rhetoric and said he was speaking particularly to those who say that Trump needs to be eliminated. Somebody's gonna get hurt by it, and it's gonna destroy this country. Somebody is gonna get hurt. And you think about what an incredible wound it would open up in the United States of America. All of us, and I promise I will do my part to tone down the rhetoric, Vance said. You guys need to cut it out, or you're gonna get somebody hurt. Trump earlier Monday confirmed he had spoken with President Joe Biden over the phone, saying in a statement that the pair had a very nice call and that it was about U.S. Secret Service protection. 8. Trump and Harris get back on the trail after another campaign-shaking moment Former President Donald Trump is set to hold his first rally Tuesday night since the second apparent assassination attempt of the former president, traveling to Flint, Michigan, for what's being billed as a town hall hosted by his former White House press secretary, Arkansas Gov. He similarly lambasted the Democratic president and vice president on his Truth Social website. How Trump reacted Sunday Trump spent the hours after the apparent assassination attempt in Florida talking to allies and advisors on the phone, including while he was in lockdown at Trump International Golf Course, 9. How a false rumor about pets in Ohio and Laura Loomer's presence helped derail Trump's planned attacks on Harris former President Donald Trump is set to hold his first rally Tuesday night since the Second apparent assassination attempt of the former president. Traveling to Flint, Michigan, for what's being billed as a town hall hosted by his former White House press secretary, Arkansas Gov. He similarly lambasted the Democratic president and vice president on his Truth Social website. Iowa has not been expected to be a competitive state. Trump won there by 8 percentage points in 2020.